Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. For your convenience, we are happy to provide a digital version of the commencement program accessible via the QR code distributed at the entrance. On behalf of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, the faculty and staff, and administration of Bishop Girton High School, I proudly present to you the class of 2023.
please remain standing for our national anthem and invocation. The Bishop Girton Concert Band will now perform our national anthem. To offer the invocation, I now welcome Miss Carol Angel of our Mathematics Department, who is retiring this year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of grace and mercy, we ask you to be with us this day. We praise you and we celebrate with you the family, faculty, administrators, community, and friends who have come together to witness the accomplishments of this year's graduating class. We ask for your blessing upon all those gathered in this place. Bless our speakers' words and thoughts and give constant inspiration to the Bishop Girton High School community. May they continue in their mission of educating the whole person, giving students a strong foundation through the invitation of your son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Master Teacher. Loving God, may each of our graduates know your presence in their lives and understand how to use their abilities to bring your kingdom into reality today. And may they all continue to live lives of learning and discovery, and in so doing, bring great blessings to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts today and every day. Amen. Thank you, Miss Angel, and thank you for your service to Bishop Girton and its students. Please be seated. Good afternoon, and welcome to our commencement. My name is Claire Crother, and it is my privilege to serve as the Mistress of Ceremonies throughout the commencement exercises. Ms. Eliana Youssef, salutatorian of the class of 2023 will now come to the podium. Good afternoon and welcome family, friends, and staff to the graduation of Bishop Girton's class of 2023. My name is Eliana Youssef and I am humbled and honored to be standing here today, taking you all on a trip down memory lane. It took us 1,384 days to get here, and trust me, I counted all of them. But we did it despite all the challenges life threw at us. Even though some days certainly passed by extremely slowly, 
All in all, the four years flew by, and I know we are all excited to leave the nest, but it is important to remember all that we accomplished and learned. Freshman year went about as well as a freshman year could go. We tried our best to adjust to the workload, maybe overcame our fear of heights on that field trip to the ropes course, and even got booed at during various pep rallies. We may have gotten lost in the halls or awkwardly stepped into the wrong classroom a few times, but I'd say it was a pretty standard year until COVID hit. And we not only had to be freshmen, but we also had to be freshmen during a pandemic. We all stepped onto entirely different terrain at a moment's notice. Personally, I think that sophomore year was a fever dream. Changes were made quickly so we could have as normal a year as possible. The school adopted a hybrid schedule and placed everyone into cohorts. Cohort E was superior, by the way. <laughs> We all definitely burnt some extra calories from those unidirectional hallways. At lunch, we lost the salad bar and had to distance ourselves while eating. But if those were sacrificed to have some normalcy and be more united as a school, then I'd still consider sophomore year a win. Then came the dreaded year that everyone warned us about. We were told junior year would entail some of the most difficult and demanding days of our lives. And while that was true, we also found exciting and fun moments amidst the chaos. A handful of us passed our driver's tests and learned what it was like to roll the windows down, blast music, and finally get a taste of that freedom we always dreamed about. We also went on that boat cruise, which was basically dinner on a ship because it was too windy to leave the dock. But still, we all looked pretty classy and the food was delicious. I mean, I personally could have eaten an entire plate of those mashed potatoes. It may have been freezing outside, but I would say the meal, foosball tables, and company made it worth it. We all celebrated when junior year was over, but we were even more eager for senior year to commence. Looking back, I do not know where the time went. The year started with filling out college applications. Then we waited for those college decisions, and after that, we all experienced firsthand the almost irrefutable powers of senioritis. And now, here we are, done with all our fun senior events, done with all the rehearsals. It may seem like senior year was college this and college that, but we still crushed our last walkathon at Mines Falls, made a killer Top Gun class video, and played some pretty intense mini golf at Kimball Farm. It is surreal to think we were sitting in the gym four years ago, listening to Mr. Strinisty welcome us into the BG community. Now, here we are in the field house, wearing our caps and gowns, which seemed so out of reach back then, anxiously waiting for him to hand us our diplomas and send us off into uncharted communities where we will start the next chapter of our lives and make new connections. If I learned anything these past four years, it is that proteins are the true powerhouse of the cell, not just the mitochondria. I'm just kidding, I promise that is not all I learned. We walked into BG as eager individuals. We are not leaving unscathed, but stronger than ever, academically, emotionally, and spiritually. Each year, Mr. Strinisty presents the school with a theme such as Cardinals Forever and Be the Reason. And they all circle back to one thing, community. Whether it be volunteering through campus ministry, supporting our peers at sporting events, or participating in the school's annual formation day, there has never been a lack of companionship. Since freshman year, Bishop Girton has worked to instill a sense of compassion and responsibility in its students and those core values have stayed with us. From the senior summer sessions to the several meetings that went on behind the scenes, our class worked extremely hard to create a school year that was both productive and enjoyable, a year that prepared us for college but also gave us memories to hold on to. And for that, I am eternally grateful. 
Now, speaking of gratitude, I have a long list of people to thank, so please bear with me. First and foremost, I would like to thank my family. Mom, thank you for constantly reminding me to look at the hill, not the mountain. Dad, you never fail to keep me on track and remind me of my worth. Eli, even though our car rides to and from school are generally spent in silence listening to music, they are some of the most relaxing parts of my day and I will miss those moments. To my dance family, who have been an enormous support since I was three years old and have been a core part of my sanity all these years. To my friends for making those exceedingly challenging days at school more bearable and filling my high school career with beautiful moments that I will cherish forever. Thank you to all the teachers for continuously giving your students your time and effort. I would especially like to thank Mr. Forrester and Mrs. Daly for listening to my incessant blabbering for advice on how to write this speech. Thank you, Mr. Millett, for bringing happiness to Homeroom 109 through Trivia Tuesday and Dad Jokes. Thank you, Mrs. Warren, for always checking in and giving me a hug when I need it most. Mr. Howe, your recommendation letter did not get me into Yale like you claimed it would, but I am still grateful for all your unit circle tricks. Now, I am sure I speak on behalf of the entire class when I say thank you, Oscar, for knowing everyone's names the first week of school, singing happy birthday to us, and making each person at BG feel seen. Ultimately, I would like to thank my peers for being the class that does not care where each grade sits at lunch. Because I remember freshman year when all of the girls had to fit at that one table and it was not fun to say the least. Thank you for being incredibly involved in school activities and for being the epitome of school spirit. You are all the reason we are leaving this school a better place than we found it. Parents and guardians, you should be so proud. I know I am. And I'm going to leave you all with a piece of advice I was given to by my chemistry teacher, Mrs. Robley. Do your best and let God do the rest. At first, I thought it was a witty phrase meant to make us laugh and get us through the AP exam. But now I think of it whenever I find myself doubting my ability to do something. Doing your best will not always guarantee the results you want. However, putting in your hard work time and effort will never disappoint and you will still emerge from the situation as a better person having given it your all class of 2023 thank you so much for an unforgettable four years congratulations on all your accomplishments big and small and best of luck in your future endeavors sayonara <laughs> Thank you, Eliana. We will now confer the diplomas. Mr. Jason Strunisti, our principal, will now come to the podium. Good afternoon, Cardinals. To the faculty, staff, and administration of Bishop Girton High School, to parents, friends, relatives, and guests joining us from here and from around the world, and most importantly to the class of 2023, welcome. The faculty of Bishop Girton High School has certified that in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire, having completed the prescribed academic course of studies here at Bishop Girton, the students whose names will be read in a few minutes have met the requirements of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart for graduation from Bishop Girton High School. The students in this class have proven themselves as scholars, as leaders, as contributors, and most importantly, as individuals. Their diploma represents not only their academic achievements, but also their growth as people across many dimensions. They have met commitments. They have represented the school with pride over the past four years. Their experiences reflect tremendous resilience and adaptability born of necessity as we navigated the pandemic. Their successes demonstrate their intellectual ability, varied talents, outstanding work ethic, developing faith, and deep, deep compassion. 
we are proud to call them Cardinals. Members of the class of 2023, you graduate and enter adulthood at a time of tension between privilege and responsibility, between what you deserve and what you owe, between what you're entitled to and what is required of you. Bishop Christian highlighted this dynamic at our baccalaureate liturgy on Friday. He pointed out that every person deserves to be included, to be somebody, to be, as we would say here at BG, known, valued, and treasured, just by virtue of there being a person. Every person is entitled to that. But every person is also equally responsible for actively building that sense of acceptance in the world. You've come, in, come of age amidst a widespread belief that our society is in decline. However, in any measurable respect, we have some of the highest standards of living of anybody at any time in history. This has been bought, often at the highest price, by the sacrifices of many. Our day-to-day -day lives are comfortable, and we come to feel entitled to what we have. And we don't always connect the dots intentionally and recognize our calling as individuals to personal responsibility or sacrifice to actively build that future and those things for ourselves, to actively build a better future for every person in the world. We've made it too easy to play the role of spectators, consumers, and critics who focus on what we should have rather than builders, creators, and leaders who actively make all those things possible. And make no mistake about it, you must be the builders. There are questions about the future, yes, but there is an abundance of human capacity before us today in the Fieldhouse to address those things. As graduates, you are well prepared to meet the challenges of your next educational steps. You've invested in yourselves to create opportunities for yourselves. And doors will open if you keep working hard. But as we hear in the Gospel, much will be required of the person entrusted with much and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. You have achieved much, you have opportunities, and now you have increased responsibilities. The more success you achieve, the greater those responsibilities will become. You are entrusted. In the end, each of you, through the daily decisions that you make and the sharing of your talents and hard work, will help to define our shared future in your spheres of influence. Perhaps some cardinals will have opportunities to steer historical world events in a particular direction. Maybe we have a future president or Supreme Court justice or Nobel Prize winner or CEO of OpenAI here among us. For the most part, your contributions, though, will be on the ground in your communities, in your institutions, your families, your vocations, in your small, mundane, day-to-day -day decisions about what you can offer. You'll change the world of those immediately around you. It will be imperfect, but you'll inspire others to do the same, and all those efforts added up will move us toward the world you are called to create. Our theme, Mrs. Broder's theme for the year this year, was to be the reason. It offers us recognition that there are active steps and hard work and sacrifices to be made in creating the world that we want to live in. Ultimately, we must each decide whether we'll sit passively and wait for what we're entitled to, or whether we're going to pick up the proverbial cookie and create those things. And my message to you is simple. You have been entrusted with much, and we need you to be the leaders who build the bright and compassionate future through your lives. One of the great honors of my role is the opportunity to give each class its first and its final homework assignment. The first assignment was given back at freshman course selection night, and that was to represent Bishop Girton with pride and gratitude. Mission accomplished. That assignment still stands. And as for your final homework assignment, the mission statement of Bishop Girton concludes, we strive to form tolerant, just, and involved men and women of faith who accept the task of building the kingdom of God and of transforming for the better the world in which they live. Today, the responsibility for Bishop Girton's mission shifts fully to your capable shoulders. This mission to transform the world is in fact your last homework assignment here, and it is a lifelong assignment. To be transformed, the world needs competent, principled, morally centered, faith-filled people, and the world needs these individuals giving fully of themselves. The world needs you, and you are up to the challenge. So as our themes call you to do, be the reason, 
Be that person, be a community, and be a cardinal forever. I know that I speak for all of your teachers in wishing you the best and in looking forward to the impact that you will make. You will be missed. Here, you are known, valued, and treasured. You are loved, and you will always have a home. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Diplomas will now be conferred. Mrs. Linda Broder, President, will present the diplomas as Mrs. Brenda Posnanski, Director of School Counseling and Admission, and Mr. Robert Forrester, Dean of Student Formation, read the names. Please hold your applause and cheering until all diplomas have been conferred so that each student can receive proper recognition. Also, thank you to our guests for your assistance in honoring our graduates in a dignified way that acknowledges the achievement and the commitment, the whole person formation reflected in a Bishop Girton diploma. Mrs. Posnanski and Mrs. Mr. Forrester. Austin D. Abbott, University of New Hampshire. Carter William Accomando, University of Tampa. Ella Marie Adamiak, University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Emma Michelle Allard, University of Connecticut. Sophia Irene Alton, Assumption University. Gael A. Alvarez de Anda, Plymouth State University. Chase Elidio Amaral, Assumption University. Luke Charles Anderson, Keene State College. Santiago Anunciado, Embry Riddle University. Layla Ardahali, Syracuse University. Jacob Samuel Baker, University of Tampa. Lydia Gabrielle Ballingall, College of Charleston. Mia Ann Barba, Boston College. Haley Brenda Louise Barker, Fordham University. Alexander Bryce Bartasevich, Junior Hockey. Evan M. Basantes, who is unable to join us today due to illness, but is watching virtually, Suffolk University. Patrick Michael Bowden, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Pierce Michael Bolio, Southern New Hampshire University. Joseph Charles Arthur Bellavance V, Boston College. Daniel T. Bentley, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Caroline Nicole Barraby, University of New Hampshire. Tanisha Bashkawar, Temple University. Madeline Lira Billings, Employment. Rachel Sonia Suefu Bolger, Endicott College. Gavin M. Bambara, Florida State University. Kayla Ann Maria Borges, Merrimack College. Katie A. Boudreau, College of the Holy Cross. Connor F. Bouvier, College of the Holy Cross. Matthew James 
Broder, University of Massachusetts, Lowell. Laura Elizabeth Bucci, American University. Kyle R. Kadat, University of Tampa. Sean Matthew Kearns, Indiana University. Corey J. Casey, Plymouth State University. Dylan S. Campbell, University of New Hampshire. Robert H. Canaway III, Florida Institute of Technology. Nicholas Stephen Capone, Great Bay Community College. Jacob James Karen, St. Anselm College. Carlo Catalan, Endicott College. Warren W. Chen, McGill University. Samuel D. Clausen, University of Massachusetts, Lowell. Alexander Joseph Collins, Merrimack College. Larissa Marie Camoli, St. Joseph's College of Maine. Zachary Matthew Connerty, Virginia Military Institute. Kara Elizabeth Connolly, University of Florida. Mary Angelina Connolly, University of Central Florida. Shayla Christine Connolly, University of South Florida. George Samuel Crawford Eng, Georgia Institute of Technology. Nicholas A. Courier, Nichols College. Catherine Grace Daly, United States Air Force Academy. Joao Manuel de Sousa, University of California, Riverside. Ashlyn Dean, Suffolk University. Ryan Joy Delaney, Stonehill College. Brenna Regina Daniel, Stonehill College. Nahitha Dinesh Kumar, Boston University. Brendan Cole Dion, Maine Maritime Academy. Bailey A. Doyle, High Point University. Claire R. Doyle, St. Michael's College. Carly June Dufo, University of New Hampshire. Stefan Anthony Duncan, Marist College. Javari Lloyd Ellison, Husson University. Daniel John Enright, University of New Hampshire. Sean Patrick Finnegan, University of New Hampshire. Shailen Aaron Foley, Riviere University. Caitlin Mackenzie Forsyth, Fairfield University. Maximilian Franco Gomez, Champlain College. Polina Jane Frasca, Boston College. Jacqueline R. Friel, Quinnipiac University. Shania Sky Gagney, Johnson and Wales University. Olatz Gare Lanzagorda, Universidad CEU San Pablo. Veronica Geringer, Curry College. Rocco Anthony Geraci, 
University of Massachusetts, Lowell. Reagan Emma Gilmore, James Madison University. Ella Sigolang Goyette Monin, University of Southern Maine. Cooper Granville, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Kyle Grazer, Virginia Tech. Zachary Sterling Greer, Islanders Hockey Club. Derek Joseph Griebel, University of Hartford. Garrett Lee Griego, Wentworth Institute of Technology. Eamon Vansford Griffin, Hartwick College. Paige Marie Grew, Southern New Hampshire University. Connor A. Gabord, United States Military Prep. <laughs> Elizabeth Louise Gustafson, Gap Year. Heather Elizabeth Harrington, Empire Beauty School. Jack Vaughn Harrington, Plymouth State University. Madeline jo Joanne Hartsock, Flagler College. Andrew James Hebert, Clarkson University. Elizabeth May Hemingway, Coastal Carolina University. Connor James Hughes, Bentley University. Kieran James Hummer, Penn State University. Molly S. Ireland, University of New Haven. Lamitha Karthik Iyer, Syracuse University. Hershey Jamla, University of Massachusetts, Boston. Duran Hawergi Morgus, Virginia Tech. Evan Caplo, Southern New Hampshire University. Isaac Kastner, Junior Hockey. Ava Marie Cadis, Sacred Heart University. Ryan R. Kelly, St. Anselm College. Patrick Michael Kelly, Marquette University. Timothy G. Kiley, Sacred Heart University. Min Han Ko, Rochester Institute of Technology. Garrett Konezny, University of Tampa. Katie Elizabeth Kraft, Southern New Hampshire University. Ethan Armand Labby, University of New Hampshire. Morgan Lachance, Lowell Academy Hairstyling Institute. Ronank S. Lamba, University of Massachusetts, Lowell. Aiden Reese Lorendo, Merrimack College. Vincent Jacoby Lazari, University of Massachusetts, Amherst. Renee Grace LeBlanc, St. Mary's University. 
Jackson Thomas Lavasser, Rochester Institute of Technology. Dylan Michael Locken, University of New Hampshire. Jenna Z. Lynch, Western New England University. Tyler William Mackey, High Point University. John Anthony Mantone, Seacoast Spartans Hockey Academy. Spencer Christopher Matarazzo, Fairfield University. Michael J. Macheski, Bentley University. Jack W. Maynard, University of New Hampshire. Peter D. McConey, University of Colorado. Smurthy S. Menon, Hamilton College. Yuri Miguel Messina, Sacred Heart University. Catherine Jaylene Mitchell, University of Illinois. Riley Elizabeth Molingoski, Assumption University. Dominic F. Monaco, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Eva K. Morrissey, University of New Hampshire. William O. Moynihan, University of Tennessee. Megan Jane Murphy, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Olivia Jean Murray, Franklin Pierce University. Esther Sing Ying Ung, Villanova University. Hudson W. Nichols, Auburn University. Dante Nieto, Bridgewater State University. Shannon E. Nye, University of New Hampshire. Kira Claudia O'Connell, St. Anselm College. Miguel Matias O'K, Boston University. Riley May O'Hara, University of South Carolina. Gabrielle Leung Olson, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Brooke Kathleen Paquette, Stonehill College. Aditya A. Patel, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Alec Patel, Rochester Institute of Technology. Kendra Patel, Rochester Institute of Technology. Catherine Diana Paveglio, Simmons University. Hannah Lynn Pavletic, St. Anselm College. Andrew Michael, Michael Taylor Piker, Elon University. Lynn Trunk Nguyen Pham, University of Massachusetts, Boston. Sydney S. Poe, Cornell University. Roger Raymond Pluth III, undecided. Cameron Douglas Prangley, Wentworth Institute of Technology. Christopher W. Prangley, Keene State University. Aditya Rakesh Prasad, University of Texas. Teresa Vian Prunier, College of the Holy Cross. 
Anthony Rasmussen, Coastal Carolina University. Connor James Reeves, New England Institute of Technology. Isabella Rose Reichard, University of Miami. Sam Henry Walter Reed, Quinnipiac University. Shannon Maureen Riley, Sacred Heart University. Hunter J. Rayum, Employment. Isabella Grace Rio, North Shore Community College. Colin J. Rourke, Hofstra University. Ambrose Byron Rockwell, St. Anselm College. Riley Karlstrom Rodell, Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Brandon Michael Rogers, Virginia Tech University. Alexander Daniel Ross, University of New Brunswick. Catriona M. Rowe, University of New Hampshire. Matthew J. Santosuaso, Plymouth State University. Jill Elise Scanlon, Merrimack College. Abigail Blake Schott, University of Rhode Island. Maya Mackenzie Shanahan, Florida Institute of Technology. Taylor G. Sherry, Suffolk University. Cosmo J. Ciano, Sacred Heart University. Grivan Singh, Bentley University. Kaylee Ann Skinner, Clemson University. Skylar Brooks Skinner, Clemson University. Molly Ann Smith, Eastern Nazarene College. Evan L. Spears, Employment. Meghna Srithihar, Northeastern University. Megan Elizabeth Stack, The Ohio State University. Abigail St. Marie, Nashua Community College. Sabrina Elizabeth Sterrett, Georgetown University. Justin Keith Strandell, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Emma C. Safario, Mass Col Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Ishan Suman, University of Connecticut. Julia M. Sweeney, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Joshua Lena Leonard Taylor, University of Rhode Island. Aisley S. Terrian, Gordon College. Kalyan Karthik Philai, Syracuse University. William Douglas Thompson, Sacred Heart University. Stephen Jeffrey Toom, Quinnipiac University. Angelina Noel Turcott, Sacred Heart University. Sage Marie Underwood, High Point University. Natalia Lee Virtu Virtuccio, Sacred Heart University. Logan Samuel Vogel,
Quinnipiac University. Kayla Michael Wagner, Fairfield University. Kira B. Walsh, Champlain College. Chining Wang, Georgia Institute of Technology. Emerson Reed Warren, University of Vermont. Matthew Warren, Boston University. Emma Catherine Weldon, Bay Path University. Adam S. Weatherby, University of Rhode Island. Caitlin Ann Wheeler, Stonehill College. Tessa Wilkie, Wentworth Institute of Technology. Peter C. Wilson, Virginia Tech. Annika M. B. Winkleman, Arizona State University. Aiden Alexander Witkowski, University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth. Dylan Ronald Young, Clarkson University. Devin Young, Southern New Hampshire University. Nicholas Andrew Young, Virginia Tech. Nora Dale Zaveri, University of Wisconsin. Noah David Zeman, Riviera University. Claire Louise Crowther, Providence College. It is my pleasure to announce the salutatorian of the class of 2023, Eliana Ely Youssef, College of the Holy Cross. And the valedictorian of the class of 2023, C.O. Young Rachel Lee, Cornell University. At this time, I invite Peter Wilson, student body president, and Tess Prunier, student body vice president, to the stage. And if the class can stand, you're going to be moving your tassels from right to left with them. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We will now honor students who have demonstrated distinguished performance in the classroom here at Bishop Girton High School. Mr. Gurrell, our vice principal, will now come to the podium to recognize our departmental awards, which will be presented by our academic department chairs. Good afternoon. 
We'll now present our departmental awards given to students in recognition of excellent academic performance, intellectual curiosity, and contributions in the classroom. These students represent some of our top scholars, demonstrating a passion for these subject areas. I will call forward each department chair to present the department's award. This is Raymond. The Award for Excellence in Theology is presented to Annika Winkleman. Mrs. Prunier, Chair of the English Department, presents the English Award to Sabrina Sterrett. Mrs. Will Gazinski, the chair of the mathematics department, presents the mathematics award to Sayong Rachel Lee. <laughs> Mr. Miller, chair of the science department, will present the next two awards. The Life Science Award is presented to Riley Rodell. The Physical Science Award is presented to Sanyong Rachel Lee. <laughs> Mr. Mark Phillips, Chair of the Social Studies Department, presents the Social Studies Award to Warren Chen. Mr. Daniel Joffrey, Chair of the World Languages Department, will present the next three awards. First, the award in French is presented to Catriona Rowe. The Award for Excellence in Spanish is presented to Paulina Frasca. The Latin Award is presented to George Crawford Ang. Mrs. Fletcher, Chair of the Fine Arts Department.
presents the award in art to Chinning Wang. Mr. Stark presents the Award for Excellence in Music to Ryan Delaney. Mr. Tom and Delicato will present the award for excellence in computer science. The computer science award is presented to George Crawford Eng. Mr. Trishiani, the chair of the Health and, Fis Health and Fitness Department, presents the Health and Fitness Award to Daniel Bentley. Congratulations to all of our academic award winners. Mr. Strinisti will now present our most prestigious class awards. The Thomas Sullivan Memorial Scholar Athlete Awards are presented to two seniors who are the commendable and enviable combination of outstanding scholars and fine athletes. The Scholar Athlete Awards are given in memory of Thomas Sullivan. Mr. Ryan Brown, Director of Athletics, will present this year's two Thomas Sullivan Scholar Athlete Awards to Mr. Timothy Kiley and Ms. Catherine Daly. It's my pleasure to invite Mr. Tom Elliott to present the Larry Elliott Loyalty Award, which is given in loving memory of Larry Elliott, a friend and benefactor of the school. It is presented to a senior whose dedication and loyalty to Bishop Girton cannot be adequately expressed in words. This senior is chosen by the faculty and staff and exemplifies dedication and loyalty through both co-curricular and curricular activities. The award includes a scholarship. It is our great honor to present the 2023 Larry Elliott Award to Ms. Teresa Prunier. And I invite, I invite Ms. Kelly Boland to the stage for the All Girton Award. The All Girton Award is presented in memory of Joseph P. Lebrecht.
This award is the most prestigious award offered to a senior and is awarded to a student who enjoys the respect of the entire school community. This senior is an outstanding student who is dedicated to learning, has participated in interscholastic activities, and has given service to the school and the community. The student is selected by faculty and staff. Presented with this award is the Stephen J. Bolin Class of 1986 Memorial Scholarship granted in his memory. We are honored to announce that the 2023 all Gerton Award is presented to Ms. Angelina Turcott. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Ms. Seo Young, Rachel Lee, our valedictorian, will now address the class of 2023. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the class of 2023. Nothing worthwhile can be achieved without the help of others, so I'd like to begin my speech by thanking the people who have made this day possible for each and every one of us. Families, thank you not only for being here with us as we celebrate the end of our high school careers, but also for all of the unwavering support you've given us over the years. Thank you to my parents and my brother for your unconditional support from all the way around the world and South Korea. And thank you to the Korea family, the Arevalo Sanders family, and the Sridhar family for being the three most wonderful host families I could have asked for during my time at BG as an international student. And of course, an immense thank you to the teachers and staff who have dedicated their time and effort into our education. Thank you, Mr. Forrester, for overseeing this speech and for enduring our literature classes endless negotiation attempts to push back due dates. Congratulations, Mr. Howe, for making it into my speech and thus continuing your seven year streak of being mentioned in graduation speeches. But in all seriousness, thank you for helping me realize my passion for the STEM field. Thank you, Mr. Champagne, for all the enthusiasm you brought to every single math meet. Thank you, Mr. Miller and Mr. Boucher, for putting up with, and I quote, the most misbehaved AP physics class ever. And of course, thank you, Mrs. Rio and Mrs. Daly, for being the two best advisors of room 113. Teachers and staff, we are forever grateful for the guidance you have given us throughout our time at BG. And to my friends, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for always being there for me and making me laugh. I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for you. Reflecting on our high school experience, one of the most important reasons we've spent the past four years of our lives together is for an education. And we have in fact grown so much academically. We've learned to craft complex research papers from the perfect paragraphs we learned to write as freshmen. And we all know the unit circle by heart. Wherever we go, the knowledge we've gained from high school will be of immense value to us and the skills we've learnt, gained from learning this knowledge will accompany us as we enter the next stage of our lives. Now, the question arises, what comes next? What does our future hold and where will we all be in 10 years? Well, the answer is that I honestly have no clue, but I do know calculus and I can calculate the final velocity of an object thrown into the air according to Mr. Miller's five proper steps of problem solving. So I think it's safe to say that I'm all set for the real world. But in reality, we know that education doesn't stop with academics. Every interaction with those around us, peers or adults, has helped us learn and grow as people. There are a myriad of valuable lessons and skills we've learned at BG. 
We've learned to adapt and improvise as we navigated ever-changing conditions, especially with the COVID pandemic and online school. And we've made some of the closest connections and friendships of our lives. With all these lessons that we've learned during our time at PG, I've pondered what final words to impart to our class. Could I share grand philosophical maxims or any fundamental truths about life? Well, I'll leave that fun task to the adults here who are far more experienced and qualified to give that type of advice than I am. But as someone who has had to start new and adjust to a new environment at BG four years ago, as many of us will have to do in the near future, I figured that I'd shared some tips that I've learned over the years. First, it is important to take risks. As we leave the comfort of 194 Lund Road, we will be surrounded by a new environment, new people, and new adventures. While change may be daunting, we learn the most out of embracing it and learning to adapt. So while it is perfectly natural to be afraid, I encourage you to challenge yourself and embark on new journeys. Second, look around and help others. Coming into BG not having known anyone, I was worried that I wouldn't fit in and that I wouldn't be able to make new friends. Thankfully, these worries never turned into reality as I was instead met by a community that welcomed me with open arms. From my teachers who were always willing to help, to my friends who have stuck with me all throughout high school, I am so grateful to have been part of such a supportive and close-knit community. So while it is important to focus on your academics and career path as you figure out your own meaning in life, remember that there is always someone that could use a helping hand. Take with you the compassion and care that makes the BG community so special. And finally, Leaving your family is always hard, but they will always be there for you. The nest will always be there for you. Although we may not be spending every day with each other anymore, the support system we've created and the lifelong connections we've made will be there for us no matter what, through thick and thin. Among everything that will change, our favorite food, our jobs, our goals and aspirations, and even ourselves, these connections are the one constant that will stay with us. And now the BG community is a part of it. While I may not be able to give you groundbreaking words of wisdom encompassing the entirety of life just yet, this is the one thing I can assure you of with full and unequivocal confidence. As we head off from the nest, we all face the same blank page we did when we first entered BG as freshmen. We filed in nervously to the welcome walk during freshman orientation, unsure of what the next four years had in store. In just a few moments, we will walk out one last time together as a class, nervous but excited for what the future holds. Much like our high school journey, the road that lies ahead of us won't always be smooth. But to any of you that are afraid of what's to come or don't feel ready to leave just yet, let your time at BG serve as proof that everything will turn out fine. Now, with the bittersweet end to this chapter of our lives also comes the excitement of endless new possibilities. So as we say goodbye for now and head down our separate paths, I hope that you seize every opportunity and make the most out of it. Don't let these past four years be the best four years of your life. Celebrate not only the end goals, but enjoy every step along the way. Show your appreciation to the people who have helped you reach this point. And most importantly, if you ever feel lost, remember that the nest will always be right here. So congratulations and thank you, class of 2023. We've made it so far. Your freshman self would be proud of you. And the little kindergartner in you from years back when 2023 seemed ever so far away is so proud of you. I'm forever grateful for the past four years we have spent as a class and I sincerely wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. To say that these past four years have been a journey would be the understatement of the century. From being confronted with a global pandemic to pursuing tougher goals and assuming leadership responsibilities within our community, we were faced with challenges that have changed our lives and our futures forever. While it has been an honor to serve as your mistress of ceremonies today, it has been an even greater honor, honor to call myself a member of this phenomenal class of BG graduates. 
The success we achieved both inside and outside of the classroom walls is the result of tremendous growth that has progressed since our freshman year. May the Cardinal in each of you always seek out growth, happiness, and success as you continue onward through college, your careers, and your lives. Thank you to all of the parents, guardians, teachers, coaches, and mentors who have supported us and guided us through these past four years. We could not have gotten this far without you, as your efforts have shaped us into the graduates we are today. Finally, I want to thank you, the class of 2023, for all of your commitment and dedication to your own endeavors, whether it be your academics, your sports, your clubs and activities, or your service. You all have truly made this class a group of people who will continue to be known, valued, and treasured, not only by the people at BG, but by our future friends and future colleagues as we go off to set the world on fire. Thank you. Now, Mrs. Molly Pinsonneau will offer the benediction. Congratulations, graduates. Please stand. Let us bow our heads and unite our hearts in prayer as we entrust to the hands of the Lord those who are graduating today. May God, who began this good work in you, carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments, always confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you will work for justice equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that you will reach out your hand and comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world and may the Spirit of God be with you always. Amitor Cor Jesu, Amitor Cor Marie, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mrs. Pinsonneau. Congratulations again to our seniors. This concludes our commencement ceremony. The graduates will process out slowly. The faculty will form a receiving line in front of the school. Please take your time. Thank you for joining us in our celebration and best of luck to the class of 2023.